Hi guys and welcome back to Football Manager 2018 with AC Milan. Without further ado, let's randomly bring up our tactics. Now, without further ado, let's just jump into this game here. We're playing against Lugano. A couple of rotational boys are going to get a chance to show what they can do today. So we're going to bring on Paletta. He's going to start ahead of Bonucci. Uh, he prefers to be in the middle of a three-man grouping. That's excellent stuff. Bonaventura is going to get a chance ahead of Susu. We're going to throw in Cotroni ahead of Silva. Antonio Donnarumma is going to start the game today. Ricardo Rodriguez will get a shot ahead of Antonelli. Andre Silva is actually off the bench for Kalinic. We're going to start Zanilato ahead of Lucas Bilia. And we're also going to make sure he has his own personalised role in the midfield there. He should just be a generic supporting central midfielder. I uh, will take out these substitutes here. I don't think there's anybody else we want to put on. Nope, I'm comfortable with... Mm, do we want to put Montalivo in? Nah, never mind. <coughs> okay, so that's the squad. Let's continue to the game. Not much point in overanalyzing any of this stuff here. Tunnel interview... Some players will play here, some will play there. Abati, I can rely on to be the captain. Let's encourage them to press on. And really, we should just be beating this side. It was a comfortable away win, actually, in, in Switzerland against them. In the end, we won 3 nothing. Bonaventura has been hankering for some more action, so he plays today. Abati with a nice first touch. Drills it low, but it's easy for the goalkeeper to get in ahead of Cotroni. OK, let's see what this rotational side can do for us then. You know, places up for grabs for them today. Ruderman to Ledesma. Eventually closed down. <sighs> Just keeps the ball. Good challenge, Chalanoglu. Zanilato plays a quick ball. Great pass by the young man to Cotroni. Can he run at the man here? Cuts inside on that right foot. Shaping to shoot. Curls one. It's a good save by the goalkeeper. But ultimately, he made it rather easy for him. Predictable shot, good height and all for the goalkeeper. Uh, Chalinoglu will whip the corner, but it will just be easily dealt with by the defence. Flicked away. Catroni will pick it up, but I don't see this coming too much. Zanilato. To Chalinoglu. <coughs> Pardon me. Drilled in low, cleared by Ledesma. Positive start, though. It was a great pass by Zanilato. Uh, Chalinoglu's corner now, flicked away, Abati should pick this up, could play it back out to the Turk. He goes the other way, plays it to Romagnoli, who drills one, oof, it's a good save by the goalkeeper, the big centre back, almost scores an absolute cracker. A good start so far by the rotational side, creating some chances. And less said about that from Misakio the better. <laughs> Misakio can't get the header on target, yeah, really, do you think? So 20 minutes gone, commanding the game but without the lead, Chalanoglu, corner, these are building up now, Nice take the 2-0 lead at Krasnodar, from Kessie slams it in, assisted by Cotroni, 1-0 to Milan. It's very clear that none of the sides that have been drawn in this group with us can actually touch us, or have a superior quality, although we don't look at sometimes in the league, uh, clearly going up against these other sides in Europe we are we are much better than these sides. Bonaventura to Chalanoglu. He can sweep it out wide to Abate, you'd feel. Nope, takes too long. Zanilato moves it quickly to Kessie. Bonaventura looking for the overlap. Rodriguez now angles a ball in. It's far too easy for the goalkeeper. Valeri, who can just kick this one long. He does, it's launched. But it's easy for Ron Magnoli to head it to Frank Kessie, the goal scorer. He helps her on to Chalanoglu and Bonaventura, who finds Cotroni. Cotroni holds her up. Great ball to Rodriguez. Takes a touch. Looks to find Cotroni with a return ball. And just blazed it over the bar. Some more exciting attack in play, though. Something to actually watch here. As Krasnodar through Pavel Mamiev have actually equalised against Nice. Antonio Donnarumma launching that one long towards Chalinoglu, headed away, picked up by the striker here. Bol Boltensberger. Germanier picking it up now. 
Plays are inside. Zan Nalato catches it though. Bonaventura. Chalanoglu. Flicks it to Kessie. Zan Nalato's there. Simple pass to Chalanoglu. I like how simple he's keeping it. Bonaventura now looking for the overlap. Here is Rodriguez. Takes a touch. Puts the ball in. Cotroni. It's a good save actually. And then Cotroni picks it up again. Crosses it himself. Bonaventura. Oh my god. <laughs> He's been moaning in between episodes about lack of first team action. No bloody wonder. I would have scored that. Into the second half, not much to say to the boys here. Abate's nicked it for us early on. Hopefully, more of the same from most of them, anyway. Paleta to Kessie moves it to Zanilato. Simple ball to Bonaventura. The young man's actually impressed me today. Abate picking it up. Can he get the ball in? He gets it in, but it's a poor cross. Easy for the goalkeeper. Launch long again. <clears throat> this time it's cushioned down. Amuzi picking it up here. For Lugano. Beats his man. Abate goes in. Wins it back. Good play. Chalanoglu, Frank Kessie, Bonaventura, come on, where's it going? Good ball, Rodriguez now, coming central, Chalanoglu, Cotroni, can he find the batty? He shoots himself, oofed, 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 what a goal by the young man. There's a goal and an assist from him today, Peach from the edge of the box. I think I'll give him till 65 and then I'll bring on Kalinic and try and give him a chance. Yeah, let's go for Kalinic now. Kalinic can come on. So can Montalivo. Montalivo can come on for Frank Kessie. And we can change him to an advanced playmaker. Why not? I'd like Kalinic to do something. I hate seeing a player just sit there and rot, especially since he's joining permanently at the end of the season. Pretty much just waiting for this game to be seen out now. Um, we can bring Suso on for Chalanoglu, I suppose. It wouldn't really make much of a difference now. I just like using up all three of those subs. Absolutely launched long. Raw Magnoli now to Paletta. If we could get a nice 3-0 victory, I'd be happy with that going into the game against Crotone. Great ball there by Montalivo to Abate. Can he find a better cross than recently? He can. And it's Nikola Kalinic picking up the scraps. 4-3-0. Good assist from Abate. Well finished, actually, by Kalinic. At least it gives us something to think about. I like that feature as well, actually, how it asks you if you still wish to proceed with your tactical change uh, after the goal. That's pretty cool. Abate to Kalinic now. Can we grab a fourth? Be a bit of a boost to the confidence before we go into that Crotone game away from home. We actually seem to be better away from home in the league. Quinton picks it up now for Lugano. Good challenge, Zanilato, who's really impressed me today. Montalivo knocks it out quickly to Misakio. Suso now. Bonaventura. Great sweeping pass to Rodriguez. Takes a touch. Can he find Kalinic? He whips it in. He finds Kalinic. What a finish by Kalinic. No doubt about that one. Question is, does Kalinic get man of the match now for those two goals? Nope, Rodriguez still seems to have a better rating than him. Thrown to Montalivo. Can we get a fifth? Zanelato just rolls it to Suso. Montalivo. Good ball for Kalinic. Holding it up. Looks for Rodriguez to make the run. Doesn't really do so. Rodriguez for Kalinic. Can he get an assist to his name? He's out in that wide area now. Cuts it back to Zanelato. Hit it, son! Hits it. He hits it. Oh, it's a great save, actually, by the goalkeeper. Excellent play. We've looked great today. This is what I've been wanting to see from the team. Now, again, 
against inferior opposition. But this is the kind of performance I want to see us pull out against the team in Italy. Okay, good. So that's three wins on the bounce with three clean sheets. If we can turn that into four, they'll start to be a bit more happy with the squad and what we're actually doing as a team. Crotone sitting 18th, of course, in the league, a team we should be expecting to beat. So hopefully we can do something. We've qualified for the knockout round already after only four games, of course, winning all four of them. We're playing on the Sunday here, so there'll be a couple of games that we already know the result of by the time we kick off. Nonetheless, obviously, the objective is still the same. Obviously, a, a convincing victory is what we're after. Do we think Suso's deserving of an international call-up? Aye. Stick him in ahead of David Silva, do you know what I mean? Okay, they kind of look like they play somewhat of a variation on our formation, actually. Andrea Bazzali set to sign for Milan. Absolutely, let's go ahead. He'll join in January. Happy with that bit of business. Bonucci, Bazzali and Donnarumma. Hey, Donnarumma. Bonucci, Bazzali and Romagnoli. Doesn't sound bad to me. With Musacchio there as backup. <clears throat> he has played uh, was it 8 games for UV this season 9 starts for UV this season actually 7.32 average so he's clearly still a quality quality centre back Inter will play uh, Genoa and Torino host Cagliari obviously the Inter won the match we're really interested in if they drop even more points they're basically out of the race but they, they get the win they're up to 7th on 18 points behind us on 22 We had a six o'clock game against Crotone today, so we'll know a couple more results before we kick off. Roma Fiorentina is a big one. Hopefully, uh, Roma can actually get the win there. Fiorentina are more of an immediate threat to our position. Udinese beat Bologna. That's interesting. Atalanta getting the away win though, two one. Uh, so Roma 2-2 with Fiorentina Atalanta winning 2-1 at Benevento Napoli 3-0 over Chievo Lazio losing 2-1 at Samp UV win 3-0 at Sassuolo Bologna losing of course 2-2 to Udinese so looking at the table here if we win we actually move up to second place we will solidify that position and we will just be behind Juventus at that point, four points uh, behind the big boys there but we have to do our bit of business first let's bring Gianluigi Donnarumma back in uh, we'll leave Rodriguez in, he played pretty well um, Bonucci will come in for Paletta uh, let's have a little look here who comes in um, okay, Bilia can come on to the bench let's have a little look I'm going to try and arrange my bench a little bit better here Locatelli, Andre Silva. So Andre Silva will start ahead of Crotone. <clears throat> and I think that might be the only change we make. Although Suso in for Bonaventura, because Suso has been a pretty consistent performer for us. Ah, do I leave the young man in? No, I'm going to put Locatelli back in. It was a bit of a toss-up there. But Zanilato looked really good in the European game, but it was a much easier game. So we're going with this. We're going with Donnarumma, Misakio, Bonucci, Romagnoli, Abati, Rodriguez, Locatelli, Kessi, Chalanoglu, Suso and Silva. Yeah, we've only selected 10 subs at possible 12. That's fine. Uh, wow, that's actually a pretty... a pretty progressive formation they've set up. Mandragora, is he on loan from UV? He is indeed. Not a bad player. Uh, they also have Marcelo Trotta, formerly of everywhere, I believe. Napoli, Fulham, Wickham, Watford, Fulham, Brentford, Fulham, Brentford, uh, uh, Barnsley, Avellino, Sassuolo. So a lot of places he's been. Never really done it. 
he looks okay, I suppose. And this too many a low lad looks pretty decent on loan from Roma. Yeah, he's got some pretty good stats. So let's just hope we can come here and play our game. Um, we've been on a good run lately. Go and press me. Let's see what the tunnel interview is. I'm not going to comment on our opposition player being missing. I will tell them to get creative. Here we go. Can we turn three clean sheet victories into four? Ocatelli cuts her out. Mandragora. Martella picking her up now. Or Crotone. Mandragora again. Roden. Stoyan. Trotta. Good challenge by Kessie there. Chalanoglu now picks it up. Good play from us. Like a nice early goal to set the tone here. Here we go. Rodriguez with the throw in deep in their half. Throws it to Kessie. He can cushion it back to him. Rodriguez puts it in early. It's cleared away. Roden picks it up now. He will play it long. Uh, easy for Bonucci. Locatelli sweeps it out quickly to Abate. Can he find a cross here? He's running really wide with the ball. Beats, beats a man. Crosses it, and there's our favourite type of highlight where the keeper just pams it. Andre Silva's cross is blocked. Abate drills it in. It's deflected to Kessie, who thunders one, but it's well wide of the post. And no early goal for us there. Over 70% of the possession, actually, in the first 20 minutes or so. Absolutely bossing the game, but without scoring. And now it's a corner to Crotone. Whipped in, chance, header over the bar. To Manello, really should have done better there to be honest. Trotter coming forward, he's up against Abate who will pinch it off him but it is a free kick and Abate's already booked. Oh dear. It's a second yellow card for Ignazio Abate. We are down to 10 men. How do I handle it? Uh, ooh, right, let's have a little look here. Okay, so nobody can do the right back roll. Can anybody do it at all? Nope. Okay. Um, right, here's what we're going to do. We're going to drop Rodriguez back and we're going to push Bonucci out there, I think. Yeah, Bonucci is slightly more capable of doing it. So we're going to push Bonucci out wide right, I guess. Not much else we can do. We go with basically the same shape, push the defenders back. Yeah. Not much we can do. I'd like to think our quality could still see us through here. Bonucci throws it to Locatelli, back to Bonucci, who is hardly brilliant at crossing, but he picks out Kessie. Space to shoot, he thunders one, it deflects, and it goes in, and it is 1-0. Bonucci playing right wing back with the assist for Frank Kessie, who's absolutely blasted that one in. And it is 1-0 to the 10 men. Well, one nothing. Half time. I, I suspect if we're going to get the four wins out of four, we will also need to extend the clean sheet record to four. I really don't see us scoring many more. Silva to Kessie and Locatelli. And Musacchio placing it out wide to Rodriguez. We're still trying to impose ourselves on the game. We might as well. We've still been playing better than them, even with the ten men. There's no point trying to sit back. Budmir is on now for Marcelo Trotta. 65 minutes gone. Bonucci. Oh dear, his cross is blocked. Mandragora playing it down that right-hand side of ours, which of course nobody's there. Budmir coming inside now. He's got a bit of a... Yeah, he goes back outside on the right-hand side. Played in. Stoyan! And it's a good save by Donnarumma. Tonev is on now for the centre back. They're clearly going for this. Donnarumma fires it long. It's headed on. 
Tumanello down to Stoyan. They're going 4 2 3 1 now. Tumanello picking that up. It's played. Budmir's in and shoots and scores. <laughs> I was considering the change uh, to the shape, but. Budmir has scored. So there's not much I can do now. I'm going to bring on Kalinic actually. Budmir on off the bench to make it 1 1 here. I've got to say, there's quite a few disappointing performances out there as well. Uh, let's bring Bilia on for Locatelli and we will take Chalanoglu off for Bonaventura. 15 minutes or so to see what they can do, if anything. Well, we are pushing forward here. Bonucci with a throw to Lucas Bilia. Bonucci crosses one in. Kessie rises and heads. It's just wide. Disappointing, but we are still creating something late in the game. Four added minutes to be played. 30 seconds remain. We have a corner. Can we nick something really late on? Whipped in. Uh, the keeper catches it. I fear this is going to end 1 1. Punted long. Stoyan will pick that up. Faced up by Romagnoli. Playing it to Bonaventura. Good play there. Seconds remaining, Kessie will thump it long for Bonucci to chase. Can he get the ball in here actually, Bonucci? He's wide right, smashes it across, it's headed away, and that will be full time. A 1-1 draw. Now, it's kind of funny because I don't actually feel as bad as I've done with some previous victories. Because obviously the red card there for Abate has completely left us in the lurch. Uh, do you know I'm still I'm still gonna say it wasn't good enough. I'm still gonna say that, but I'm not too down about it. It was a decent performance. We had ten men, so it was asking a lot to try and win it with ten. Still got the point. Batty, of course, will be fined a week's wages for that. He wants to discuss the fine. Okay, bring it. You let yourself down. Thank you. So that's the. Two fixtures for this episode out of the way, a commanding victory in Europe and then another disappointing draw in Syria. However, being down to 10 men, I guess I'll accept it. It was a relatively late equaliser, about the 70th minute mark, so disappointed that we couldn't see it out. Uh, it's been a problem of ours dropping quite a few points actually from positions like that. But if we look at the Syria table just now as it stands, after 12 games we are sitting in third place we are joint with Fiorentina who are second one point clear of Bologna and Atalanta two clear of Udinese and we are five clear of Inter and uh, Lazio and Napoli uh, we're seven clear of Roma so overall I suppose we have to be happy with, with the position that we're in uh, I just want to have a look at something Cancelo's on loan from Valencia that's interesting so Next episode we're going to be taking on Lazio and Krasnodar, both away from home. Uh, we really need to get some positive results there because if we, I mean Krasnodar I expect to be able to beat but if Lazio uh, were to beat us in Rome and we were to go into the game against Juventus off the back of a negative result in the league, uh, I, I fear for us. We really have to begin into the Juventus game with a bit of momentum behind us to, to have any hope of getting anything there. But that will be next episode. I hope you guys have enjoyed this one. If you have enjoyed the episode, please drop down below and leave a like. It really does help more than... It really does help more than... Uh, sorry, pardon me. I'm getting distracted here reading this no additional money given from TV rights thing. Um, where was I? Yeah, if you've liked it, drop, the, uh, drop down below and leave a like. It does help out the channel, especially for a small channel such as myself. It's much appreciated. Uh, if you'd like to follow the series, of course, you could subscribe to the channel, which would be, I'd be eternally grateful for that. But, you know, overall, just thank you for watching the video, and I'll see you next time when we take on Lazio and Krasnodar.